This is my face while watching The Revenant. What? Only one year after his incredible movie Birdman, Mexican director Alejandro González in Arito is back with a breathtaking new one, The Revenant. They shot this movie over a course of 80 days, but spread over a total time period of 9 months. Why? Because they are totally crazy. The cinematography in this movie is out of this world. Inurito and his director of cinematography Emmanuel Lubetsky must have been out of their minds, because they decided to only shoot with natural light. And not only that, but the movement of the camera, all those long shots, it's something really special. Lubetsky, who often worked with Terence Malick as well, and who got two Oscars so far, one for Gravity and one for Birdman, has a very realistic chance of getting a third one in a row. This is a film like no other comes to mind, and that's what I loved about it. It's unique and powerful, and you get that from the very beginning. We start with a very long tracking shot, somewhere in a beautiful forest whose ground is covered with shallow water. The barrel of a gun enters the shot from one side, and then from the other side there's another one. Two people are on the hunt, one of them is Hugh Glass, played by Leonardo DiCaprio. The Revenant is a survival, revenge, thriller, drama, western, with DiCaprio in its center. At this point it's no spoiler to say that Glass gets attacked by a grizzly bear and is badly wounded. Oh my god, that grizzly bear scene! I have really seen many movies in my life, but the intensity and sheer madness in terms of filmmaking totally surprised me. I mean, I nearly cursed out loud in the theater, because I had to express my excitement somehow. Once again, Inorito and Lubeski carry out the scene in only a few incredible long shots. Where other movies simply cut a lot to emphasize on the ongoing action, here the camera stays on it or moves along with it. The result is so intense and mesmerizing and I simply can't fathom how the hell they managed to do this. Even in fighting scenes like, for example, the early attack of the retribe, there's very little editing. Most of it is done in long tracking shots that went from one actor to the other, from one point of the action to the next one. At the same time, it's brutally realistic or realistically brutal, like a beautiful violent ballet where man is killing man. Shortly after, Glass is left for dead and has to fight his way back into life and to get the man responsible for his pain. DiCaprio does a terrific job while crouching, grunting and surviving his way throughout the movie. But the rest of the cast is pretty awesome as well. Donald Gleason plays the captain of their fur trading expedition and comes across much more mature and simply older than he really is. Another highlight is Will Poulter, the young guy from Narnia, Maze Runner and We Are The Millers. Simply every actor on screen gives a great performance. And Tom Hardy? Well, he is Tom Hardy and right now I can't get enough of him. His eyes are so crazy, his character always on the brink of madness. He's absolutely on par with DiCaprio. We had an agreement, Glass. We did what we had to do. He was very bright. But the movie is as much about nature as it is about man. The landscapes are terrific. The movie begins in lush green forests and gets colder and colder as it progresses. I think most of it was filmed in Canada and it's simply beautiful, as Leo is swimming through ice cold water, crawl through mud and snow, you almost begin to feel a little bit cold yourself while watching. The Revenant is a tale about the human spirit, a survival story, a movie about raw emotions. But at the same time I can understand the criticism it got. It can feel a little bit hollow and there is actually not that much going on regarding the story. I think I adore it more from a filmmaking perspective regarding all the effort and the unique style they achieved than by really getting that much into its emotions and characters. There are also some surreal moments that are again beautiful to look at but also feel a little bit pretentious. It's strange but the movie feels poetic and like an exploitation flick at the same time. It has that Mel Gibson note to it, feeling a little bit like the passion of DiCaprio, but you know what? I'm into that. For me, 
The first 45 minutes and the last 30 are absolutely perfect. But in the middle it's a little bit too slow at times. But that doesn't change that I think the movie is absolutely incredible. While watching it on the big screen I thought to myself, wow, this is amazing, but certainly nothing you would come back to a second time soon after, because it's so long and also quite exhausting. Just two days later I went in a second time, because it's just so beautiful and I needed to experience it again. So that's The Revenant for me. Tell me below what do you think about the movie and I can already tell you the next movie I will review is even harder to bear.